Hey everybody, this is Dimitri McKinney from Season 7 of Real Housewives of Atlanta, kicking it here and answering some questions with you, Madam Noir. Real Housewives Season 7 came about for me after years of people trying to get me to do reality television and me saying no because <laughs> it's a bit more of a circus than I thought I wanted. Um, I've had a successful acting career, but wanting to transfer from acting into music and really being me instead of Janine or Monica or Dina or anybody else I've gotten to play, they needed to know who I was in order to understand my music. So it felt like a good time to use that platform. Do I regret talking about my relationship with Roger Bob? No. I definitely want to marry him. And don't get me wrong, there are moments when I'm like, you know, has this been too long? Um, but that's really only based off of what society says. There are people on this show with the ring who ain't happy. There are people on this show who have gotten divorced. There are people on the show who have gotten divorced and remarried. There are boyfriends who we can't name or see on this show. So every situation is different, and that's not to mock anybody else's, but realizing that I am happy in what I am in is more important than the time spent in it. Peter's birthday party, me, you, Peter, and Roger all took a picture together. I guess the blogs kind of ran with it, and they were kind of just like, ooh, is Kenny more dating Roger Bob? Like, that happens to me every day. Right. And she felt like you didn't do anything to say, oh, hey, we're Roger Bob, like, whatever. She's giving me kind of cuckoo crazy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, I, ha I had to take a look at why Kenya laughed in the middle of some of the stuff that was going on as it pertained to my relationship. But having, get, having a chance to get to know who she is, that's her nervous energy. She does not know what to do, she's gonna laugh. If she's nervous about something, she's gonna laugh. That's her, that's her go-to defense mechanism, is what I've noticed. And people during the season thus far have seen me be really quiet. That's because I'm watching everybody. Is your actress a singer? What, what you got going on, huh? I always wanted to sing. Oh, yeah. Never wanted to act, never took okay, no classes. Okay. So why didn't you do it when you was a little, you know, more of a tulip girl? Why didn't I do it before I was a hoo hoo? Well, you were How fresh, you? fresh a little flower. I am 35. But at some point, you go to folk music and gospel. Oh, so Jesus do you do you want to be a pop star? I want okay. to be me. But what genre is me? Oh, the shade from old Fei Fei in Puerto Rico didn't start in Puerto Rico. It actually started in the studio. I've seen Phaedra, as everybody saw on the previous episodes, a couple of different times, but there really wasn't any conversation. So by the time she and Nini came to the studio, I was really excited to get a chance to know them. Nini seemed, mm -mm, seemed open to getting to know me. Phaedra came in like, I'm gonna get this heifer together. I have a neck, you don't, it's not my fault. I didn't do anything to you. I don't want no Nita. I don't want anything you have. I want an opportunity to be myself. And I did not address the shade because, like I said, I'm watching everybody. That was my very first conversation with her. And I just could not believe this educated Christian mother. Southern Belle was ringing that damn loud, that damn dumb. Couldn't. So before I came for her, I wanted to make sure after people have been around her for seasons, after people have been around her for years, and then when she brought that nonsense to Puerto Rico, I was like, oh, no, no, not, not on my trip with my performance coming. We're going to go ahead and, and squash this now. How do I feel about Phaedra and the other ladies heckling me about my age? How old are you? Fresh and low I'm 35. Do I look like I'm in my 30s? Hallelujah, won't he will? That's how I feel. Okay, some of them are clearly in their 40s. Some of them look a bit older. There's only one person there younger than me and she's trying to do the exact same thing. I'm fine. It's a tie. Um, I connect with Claudia and Cynthia the most of all of the cast members only because they represent two different sides of me. Cynthia is so very humble and so she has such a servant mentality and it's beautiful on somebody so beautiful. Okay, she will give you everything she has as long as it'll make you smile. Now that Claudia, Claudia is tomboy to the nth power. I am a closet tomboy. I bring that basketball out on you when I have to dunk on you. 
she just walks around with her ball in hand, that ponytail, and sitting here like, let's go. I can't say in, but you get it. The reaction around the table when I made the eight-year comment was the, the, the crickets you all heard on the show. Honey, Honey don't well, do that. No, don't you do don't that. do it. All I'm you, saying, you all don't I'm know saying me. is, all I'm saying you is, don't know me. the you only are. thing we have in common right now is number eight. Yours is going, mine's been here for eight. Nobody expected that from me. Nobody thought I was capable. Honey, reading is fundamental. I can do it too, I just choose not to. I feel like the person with the most power is the one that doesn't use it. So by the time I get ready to drop my bombs, they're going to be quick, fast, effective, and you're not gonna have anything else to say.